Hello, I'm Nolan from Calvary, and welcome to The Daily Dose. This week we're talking about things that Jesus never said. Last week I was giving my son a ride to school, and he was unhappy about something. And I asked him, well, who said that he was supposed to be happy all the time? And he replied, well, isn't that the point of life? And I think at times we all think that, right? That Jesus just wants us to be happy? But the truth is that Jesus never actually said that. Parents, when talking about your kids, have you ever said, I just want them to be happy? I know I have. And yes, we mean well, but is that really a good goal to have? We tell our children to work and study hard in school so they can go get good grades. Why? So they can go to college. Why? So they can get good jobs. Why? So they can make a lot of money. Why? So they can be happy. Is that really what life's about? Happiness? And this all makes me wonder if God really wants me to be happy. And then I ask, well, what actually is happiness? When we made our plans to move here to Alexandria, we had planned to get a dog. So after months of searching, we finally found our Bela. She's beautiful, she's cuddly, and so goofy. I can cuddle and pet her and I feel happy doing so. But then I leave to work and someone cuts me off in traffic and I get angry or I get an email and I instantly feel like that, that happiness, it leaves me. Or she poops on a rug and I'm certainly not feeling happy anymore. We look at the lives of Jesus' closest friends. They traveled and preached and healed and they ate and they drank together. You'd think that the best friends of Jesus would be happy, right? But sadly, most of their lives ended in tragedy, in murder. It was not what I would call a happy ending. Yet their stories, their mission, their encounter with the Christ is eternal. I think that when we really think about happiness and what makes us happy, it's always something that is out there, something we have to get, something we need to do in our lives. But then the next best thing happens or we want more. It's, it's fleeting. But I think what God offers is that everything that we need in life can be found right here. It seems that happiness is a feeling. It's superficial and based on circumstances, it comes and goes so quickly. It bears no actual weight in our life. See, what God calls us to is so much more than a feeling that can come and go. It reminds me of a story I've heard since I was a little kid. It was about building your house on the sand or on the rock. When we say that life is about being happy, it's like building our house on the sand. The rain falls and the floods come and the winds blow and beat against that house and it falls. The fleeting emotion of happiness can't stand up against the winds, the rain, and the floods of life. But when we build our life on God, our rock, nothing can tear that house apart. God does not call us to be happy. God calls us to love. I think all of us know that a life of love is not always rainbows and butterflies. It's not always easy, but I know that it is worth it. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you are watching this on Facebook, we would just love it if you would share it. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching on television, invite some friends to watch with you. God bless.
won't shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me no shadow Yeah.